looks like I'm at the top of a cliff. Mm. I'm at the top of the cliff. Tell me more. There is warm wind blowing. Mm -hmm. A warm wind blowing. I'm. I'm just just at the, at the edge. Mm -hmm. Feeling very relaxed. Mm -hmm. What do you see from the edge? Look down. What do you see? It looks like photographs I've seen from the Great Canyon. Mm -hmm. it's, it looks deserty, orangey. Deserted. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And as you look down from that cliff, do you feel that you have a body in this place? Yes. Mm -hmm. Look down at your feet. What do you see? A human feet. Human feet. Tell me more. I feel like a female. Mm -hmm. Young female. Mm -hmm. How old do you feel? Twenties, maybe. Mm -hmm. What do you look like? Uh, I feel that I'm very beautiful. Mm -hmm. I see my hair flowing in the wind. There's a, this beautiful warm wind. It mm -hmm. just fills me with peace. Mm -hmm. How long is this hair of yours? looks long. Mm. What color is it? Orange. Mm, orange hair. Brown orange. Mm -hmm. Is it straight or does it have curl to it? It has waves. Waves. Mm -hmm. Wavy. Full of hair. Mm -hmm. What does the rest of your body look like? Slim. I have. I'm wearing something very flowy as well. Mm -hmm. Describe it for me. I can't really see colors, but I feel. I feel something very silky mm -hmm. surrounding my body. Mm -hmm. Transparent. Mm -hmm. Do you translucent. Have, translucent. Translucent. Do you, do you have anything on your feet? No. No. On feet. What about on your body? Are there any any jewelry, any adornments? No. No. Just this flowy outfit. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what you're doing in this place. I'm looking out. Mm -hmm. I'm observing. What do you imagine it is that you're doing today? What are you looking for or looking at? I think I came here for to find some peace mm -hmm. and calm. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm looking for. Emptiness. Emptiness. I want to feel empty, perhaps. Do you feel that you're full? Too full of something, perhaps. Yeah, maybe... Maybe I'm full of this body. Mm-hmm. I think I... I want to be like the wind. Mm-hmm. So let's find out a little bit more about you. Let's find out where it is that you live. Let's close that scene and let's go to the place where you live in that lifetime. Be in front of the place now. Where is it that you live? Feels like a forest. Mm -hmm. I can see branches and tall trees mm -hmm. and moss. I think it feels like the house, if it's a house, mm -hmm. feels like a teepee, mm -hmm. triangular, 
made with branches, mm -hmm. like a tent made with branches. Yes. So tell me more about this place. Is there only one, or are there several of these teepees? I can only see one. Mm -hmm. So let's find out me. what's inside. How do you get inside this teepee? There's no, there is no door. There's no door. <coughs> it's, uh, it's a, it just. You just walk in. I just walk in. Mm -hmm. So tell me what you see as you walk in. It's dark. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if I can see anything. It looks very dark. Now, when you walk into a place that you recognize, your home, there's a time when you adjust to the light. Mm -hmm. And then you just know what's there. So I'd like for you to use that inner knowing now as you adjust your inner light to this place that you know so well. I think, well, I can feel or sense mm -hmm. wooden benches, mm -hmm. table, some, power, some cushions, mm -hmm. Colorful cushions, mm -hmm. bright pink, bright pink, <laughs> and golden. Mm -hmm. And what are these cushions used for? To sit down. Mm. What shape are these cushions in? Do they have a shape? I think I can see some. Rectangulars and oval shapes. Mm -hmm. Pinks what? and goldens and mm -hmm. reminds me a little bit of the tapestry in Russia. Mm -hmm. Very colorful mm. now. Mm -hmm. Very good. What else do you see or sense? Do you sense any people there? I don't think I have sense. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that this is a teepee for yourself or it's used by other people? Trust your first impression. Myself. Mm -hmm. What do you imagine that you do in this teepee? I would, I'm tempted to call it more of a caravan, mm -hmm. but there's no wheels. Okay. It's a, maybe it's a mix between a teepee and a caravan. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure why I'm mm -hmm. a caravan. That's fine. So you feel that you move this from place to place. Is that how it feels? Maybe. It mm -hmm. feels more like a gypsy mm -hmm. kind of feeling. Mm hmm I see lots of colors and bells and mm -hmm. feathers and and I have long skirts now still mm -hmm. very f they are not as flowy mm -hmm. as before but they are heavier. Mm -hmm. Do you notice any other jewelry or anything like that? Lots of jewelry. <laughs> Lots of jewelry. Tell me what this jewelry Golden looks like. Golden jewelry on my earrings. Uh, I have a scarf as well. Mm -hmm. I have bracelets. Mm -hmm. Lots of bracelets. I have I have jewelry even on my ankles. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. still barefoot. Mm -hmm. Anything on your toes? No. Mm -hmm. Very good. So now I'd like for you to close that scene and let's go to a scene where you're having some sort of celebration. Close that scene and open it to the celebration. We are dancing around the fire. Mm -hmm. So tell me who's there with you. Lots of people. Mm -hmm. 
females. What? We are all female, mm -hmm. hand in hand, dancing around the fire. Mm -hmm. Do you all look alike? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Do you still see yourself with red hair? Or has that changed? Yes, it's still brownish red. Mm -hmm. So what's the occasion of this dancing? We are celebrating something. Mm -hmm. Victory or <gasps> maybe seasons or equinoxes. It's something related to nature. Mm -hmm. So you, harvest, maybe. Mm -hmm. Trust your instinct. You'll know what it's for. The harvest. The harvest. Mm -hmm. So what's happening in this place? There is a huge bright fire, campfire, mm -hmm. and there is music and kids laughing and mm -hmm. running. Mm -hmm. And everyone is so happy. They're helping each other. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that you are some that you do something important in this community? What is it that you do? I think I am. The one who tells stories and mm -hmm. the future. Mm. I deliver babies as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very good. How old do you feel there now? I feel older. Mm -hmm. 30s. 30s. Very good. Is there anything from that scene that's important? Anything else? I love giving birth. I love being the... I love this feeling of a baby being born. Mm -hmm. Do you recognize any of the souls of the baby that you give birth to? I'm holding a baby in my arms. Mm -hmm. Look at this baby closely and see if you recognize the spirit. No. No, very good. How does that baby make you feel? Alive. Mm hmm. Very good. So let's close that scene now. Let's go to the next important scene in your lifetime. Be there now and tell me what's, it's, what's happening. It's war. Mm hmm What's happening? Tell me about it. I see long spears. Mm hmm Who do these long spears belong to? Men. Mm hmm How does that affect you? I'm not happy about it. Mm -hmm. Who are these men? Are they part of your people? No. Mm -hmm. There is so much anger. I think we're being invaded. Mm -hmm. so tell me what's happening. No, I just, I just see women being pulled up by their hairs, mm -hmm. and women fighting back as well. Mm -hmm. What's With happening to you? I'm, I'm 
I think I'm I'm a leader. I'm mm. I'm giving. I'm I'm shouting. I'm asking them to be brave. Mm -hmm. Are you one of the leaders in that community? Mm -hmm. I'm a warrior. You're a warrior. We are warriors. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. It's so hard. Tell me what's happening. I'm just being invited by this sadness. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think we wanted to go to war, but we have to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just the sadness of so many <laughs> killings, mm -hmm. so many deaths, mm -hmm. just, <laughs> just everywhere. Do you feel responsible for this? I think so. Mm -hmm. I had no choice. Mm -hmm. We had no choice. I didn't. I didn't decide to. We decided as a group. Mm -hmm. So, what are you doing during this time? Are you fighting? I am. Mm -hmm. What do you have to fight with? I have a spear. Mm -hmm. I have a, a shield as well. Mm -hmm. What do you call yourself? I'm an Amazon. Mm -hmm. The name Diane comes, Diane, Diane comes, mm -hmm. comes to me. Mm -hmm. When I say the name Diane, do you, does that resonate with you? Mm -hmm. yes. So what happens, Diane? What happens next? We are still fighting, but we are losing. Mm -hmm. Tell me everything that happens. We don't want to get caught. What happens when you get caught? We're not. Mm -hmm. I think I die. Mm -hmm. So, Diane, I want you to leave that body behind, transition out of that body, and tell me what happens as you leave that body. Where do you go? Up. Mm -hmm. Up, 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 up. Mm -hmm. Tell me everything that happens along the way. I look down, it's a massacre. Mm -hmm. Ashes. How does that make you feel? What types of emotions did you leave with? I feel peaceful now that I'm not there. Mm -hmm. I'm no longer there. Mm -hmm. I look up at the sky. I float looking at the sky. Mm -hmm. Continue floating and tell me what happens. Where does your soul go? The sun. Mm -hmm. <coughs> <coughs> I 
And floating through the sun. Mm -hmm. It feels like a portal. <coughs> what happens next? I can see galaxies, nebulas, mm -hmm. stars. Nebulas are so beautiful. Darkness, indigos. I'm sort of a sitting like Buddha, mm -hmm. contemplating what mm -hmm. surrounds me. You're beautiful. <gasps> mm -hmm. Do you have a form? Yes, I sort of have a, a humanoid form mm -hmm. with no eyes or nose. It's just uniformed. Mm -hmm. Do you have a color? Oh. Not really. I have borders. I'm, mm -hmm. The borders of my body are rainbow-like. Very good. So let's see what happens as you're contemplating this place. I see Earth. Mm -hmm. It's so pretty. Mm -hmm. <gasps> it's so pretty. <gasps> Tell me what it looks like. I love it. I love this planet. I don't know I'm drawn to it. Mm -hmm. I think it's calling. Mm -hmm. I think she's calling. Tell me what you feel. I feel sad. I feel this sadness. Mm -hmm. For her, I want to. I want to help. I want to. I want to hold her in my arms and tell her it's okay. Mm -hmm. Be okay. So tell me what happens. What do you do next? <laughs> oh, it's so cute. I, it's like a shooting star. Mm -hmm. <laughs> shooting star to Earth. And you're shooting star to Earth? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and what happens? What, what do you do? Where do you I go? I feel so happy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. Mm -hmm. ah, where am I? Look around. Where do you land? I I see I I see I see the same image I I started with. Mm -hmm. This beautiful female at top of the cliff, flowing, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but there's nothing around me. Is there a path? Oh, maybe there's a path. Mm -hmm. Okay, I get up, I turn around. There is a path. Okay, let me follow this path. What type of body do you have? Do you have the body of Diana again? Of Diane, the warrior? No, I have the body of the first female. Mm -hmm. What do you call yourself in that lifetime? Eve. Mm -hmm. I'm torn between Eve and Claire. Mm -hmm. Eve, Eve sounds... Eve. Mm -hmm. When I say the name Eve, does that fill that body or does Claire sound better? What name resonates with you? Maybe both. Mm -hmm. Can't choose. Mm -hmm. So let's see where this path leads. Where do you go to? This path leads to a lake. Is it a lake? Mm -hmm. What does this lake look like? I think it's, it, 
it's it's not open air. I th I feel like I've been out of a cave and I'm getting inside the cave, mm -hmm. a cave or a wall or a mm -hmm. hole. Do you feel like you're going inside the earth? Yes, mm -hmm. that's what it feels like. Mm -hmm. It's it it feels very spacious, mm -hmm. uh, uh, like a cornucopia. It goes it's goes as 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 I climb as I step as I walk the steps mm -hmm. further down. It is in an in a spiral motion. Mm -hmm. So I'm stepping further down. What are these walls made out of? It feels like terracotta mm -hmm. and and stone. Mm -hmm. There are lights. Where are these lights? Fire. Mm -hmm. It looks like fire on the wall. Mm -hmm. I can hear voices now. It's approaching. I think there is. Yes, I can see. It's a huge room. Mm -hmm. Still very earthy. It seems that it's it's definitely it's it's a cave, but it feels that it's alive. It's everything's alive. Mm -hmm. It's the earth itself, it's alive. Mm -hmm. I can see people sitting down, lots of people. They are dressed in orange, terracotta, very simple tunics. We are listening to, we are listening to a very, 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 very old person, mm -hmm. male. Who is this person to you? Hmm. I think it may be the uh, the wisest man in the tribe. Mm -hmm. How old is he? Very, very old. So, wow. Mm -hmm. How old is he? <laughs> I would say thousands of years old. Mm -hmm. He could be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's very thin. What is he talking about today? He's talking about how everything is connected. How the souls... How the soul is connected to the place and to the bodies and to the body. It's showing me a triangle, a mm -hmm. triangle that becomes a heart. Mm. Tell me more about this. He may be a geneticist, mm -hmm. a spiritual geneticist, because mm -hmm. <laughs> it's we are talking about how to give life. Mm -hmm. How to create life. He's talking, but he's not moving his lips. Mm -hmm. it's, I think it's a sort of telepathy. Do you all communicate telepathically? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. What else do I see? I think there is a hum. Mm -hmm. Hum. What is this hum? Where is it coming from? I think it comes from deep, 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 deep from the earth mm -hmm. core. Does the hum mean anything? I think it's it's a 
vibration. Mm -hmm. It's the planet's vibration. It's it's the planet. It's the vibration mm -hmm. coming from Gaia. It feels like um, like when dolphin. It's a resonance, like when dolphins communicate with each other. That's mm -hmm. how it feels, mm -hmm. and it comes from the earth through us. Is it a constant hum or does it change? It is a constant hum. Mm -hmm. So this place where you are, is this where you live under the earth? It is. Mm -hmm. Why do you choose to live under the earth and not above it? Oh. Because it's not inhabitable. That mm -hmm. what, that's why it's so desertic, mm -hmm. it's, so des mm -hmm. it's all desert around mm -hmm. us, mm -hmm. it's all dry. It's all dry. It's all dry. Let's find out how this became so dry. I'd like for you to close that scene and let's find out what caused all of you to go underground. Let's go back in time and let's see what happened to cause you to live underground. Fire. <coughs> what happened? See, you, it's, it's raining fire. Mm -hmm. and fire is coming from the sky. I'm not sure they look like huge stones coming from the sky. It looks like a apocalyptic. Mm -hmm. sort of hell. Mm -hmm. Are these stones coming they're from... They're falling. They're they falling. Are falling. Mm -hmm. They are falling. Are they on fire? They are. Mm -hmm. And what's, what's causing these stones to come? Is anybody sending them? I don't know. Mm-hmm. It feels like a natural disaster. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe a collision. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Something happened in space. Mm -hmm. It's not from Earth. Something happened in space. A collision happened in space and we are getting the debris mm -hmm. from it. So where is it that you live before you go underground? Forest. In the forest. Mm -hmm. And how did you find this one place? How did you find this place to live in? We were led to. We were led to it. Mm -hmm. Tell me how that happened. It was a call. Mm -hmm. Call of survival. Call for humanity. Humanity has to survive. It's a call for survival. Mm -hmm. We are led to it, not by humans. Mm -hmm. Not by humans. Let's find out who led you they there. They don't look like humans. What do they, they look like? Look they are very tall. Uh -huh. Describe them for me. They look like druids. Uh -huh. Very old. They look very, very old. They not old, but their long hair is white, very uh -huh. white. Uh -huh. Their their leader, uh -huh. very tall, very white. Almost looks like albino, but I wouldn't say it's like our albinos. It's just maybe because they've been living under the earth for such a long time. They are completely white. Mm -hmm. They have beautiful gowns. Mm -hmm. Indigo blues and golden. And how did I, they find you? They found us. They know us. Mm -hmm. They know us. I think they've known us all along. You just didn't know them? 
no I think they know human beings is not just me as myself but mm -hmm. as a group of humanity it's interesting it's so cute he's holding he's like like the old man from Lord of the Rings he holds a, a, a stick mm -hmm. like a druid yes and he's and there are lots so he's in the he's the main character and he's he's he has he waves with his arm mm -hmm. and this door opens which is not a door but it's it looks it looks very uh, it looks like very technological high advanced technology he does not speak either Mm -hmm. Everything is he. Those are ge maybe the gestures are codes. Mm -hmm. So this huge cave opens, and I see humans, and I'm among those humans, and we are entering this cave. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what's in this cave. How do you survive in these caves? Are there is there water? This Okay. Food. There are lakes. Mm. That's the lake. That's the cave I've just came into. Mm -hmm. So it is the huge entrance, and then there are lakes, and then there are lakes. Is there many any lakes? Many lakes. Is there any light in there? There is. Mm -hmm light sunlight there's sunlight yes mm -hmm. i have no idea how mm -hmm. it's not dark at all well some places are a little bit dark but this place i'm looking in it too it's i can just see a huge lake mm -hmm. uh, what else do you see in this place i wouldn't say moss it doesn't feel like when it was before on Earth. It feels different. It feels... I would say a little bit like Avatar. Mm -hmm. That sort of... The, the, the colors look very bright, mm -hmm. almost not natural. Very, very beautiful. It's... The feel, what I feel is just peace. Peace and harmony. Mm. So, how do you survive in this place? What do you eat? Mana. Mana. Mm -hmm. This word comes to me. It feels like. It feels like. Uh, not bread, but sort of. Bread in us feels very much like what we have in the in in the Catholic Church. Mm -hmm. It feels like that. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's see what happens next. Let's close that scene and now let's progress farther into your lifetime when something important is happening. Be there now. What happens now? Where are you? Look around. I feel I'm in a lab. Mm. I feel like in my rat lab. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh my God. I feel like it's not funny at all, actually, because I'm being, I've been, am I being operated on? What do you look like there? I'm not sure I'm human. 
Mm-hmm. What do you feel like? I'm not sure. You, I'm formless. Mm-hmm. Or I'm formless. I feel like I'm a blob mm -hmm. <laughs> of something. You're a blob of a something. A blob of something, and I've I am being cut. Maybe a cell. Mm -hmm. I'm maybe a cell. Maybe a cell, and I've been probed with a syringe. I I can feel a needle. Maybe. Maybe an egg. Mm -hmm. I think I'm an egg and I'm being fertilized. <laughs> mm -hmm. So let's find out what's going on. <laughs> no. uh, what is going on? Yes, I'm definite. I can see it. I can feel multiplying now. Mm -hmm. Two, four, six, eight. Fibonacci, right? Mm -hmm. What if. Oh. I'm an embryo. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm a human embryo. You're a human embryo? Mm-hmm. And uh, who's there? Who's the one who injected you? Where are you? You said you were in a lab. Yes. Mm-hmm. What is this they lab? They have masks. They have masks. What do they look like? I would say that there are several spe specimens, specimens of humanoids, mm -hmm. humans, mm -hmm. humanoids, not humanoids at all. Mm -hmm. What oh, do they look like? Interesting. Well, I can see. It's difficult to say the humanoid like I are the main lab people that are operating in on me when I look up. They all have masks, it's very difficult to identify. Mm -hmm. But I can see that this place, this lab is surrounded by people like observers. Mm -hmm. Observers, that's what they are. Observers from all over the galaxy mm. fields. Yes, they come to observe what is happening. So let's find out what it is that's so important about this experiment that you're in. I think it's the creation of life, mm -hmm. creation of the human embryo. The human embryo that has been, that is being created. Mm -hmm. That's the most precious, that's the most precious thing in the whole world. Mm -hmm. Let's see what happens as this embryo continues to grow. What do you feel? no idea how I was born or anything, but I think I'm an experiment. Mm -hmm. Because I'm in a lab. Mm -hmm. It feels like a movie. Yes. I'm in a lab and I'm I've been I'm not I interact with people, yes, but I feel that I've been raised inside a cube, a transparent cube. Mm -hmm. Everything is transparent. Mm -hmm. look, um, at, look at it, your body it, in this cube. What do you look like? I look like a girl, mm -hmm. like a little girl. I must have eight years old. Mm -hmm. I'm, I, I'm by myself. I'm by myself. Uh, there are games I need to perform. It looks like mathematical, mathematical operations I need to perform. 
and I'm getting, I'm learning how to telepathically communicate mm -hmm. with the grown-ups. I think there are the children, but I've never seen, or I've seen them, but I'm rarely we are in contact with. Mm -hmm. Now, do these adults have the masks on still? Or can you see what they look like now? Blonde. Mm -hmm. Blonde and blue eyes. There is a lady. Mm -hmm. Are they human? They are human. Mm -hmm. They are human. They feel like she's dressed almost like around the 30s and 40s. Mm -hmm. I am tempted to say that it's some sort of experiment, Nazi experiment. Mm -hmm. They feel like Nazis? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do they look like Nazis? They, lo they look like humans, but it's, it's a very, or a military experiment. Mm -hmm. um, Take a look. Very at, military. Do they have uniforms on? Yes. Do, they see, do you see anything interesting about their uniforms? Greenish Green. uniform, green mm. and black. Mm -hmm. Apart from the white lab people. Mm -hmm. And how do they treat you? I can't feel any empathy or love. Mm -hmm. I'm just an experiment. Okay, very good. Do they give you a name? I have a number. What, what is your number? Seven eight three. Seven eight three. Very good. Is there anything else from that scene that's important? No. Okay, so let's close that scene and let's move on to another important scene in that same lifetime. Something that impacts your life. I feel I want to break free. Mm -hmm. How old do you feel there? A young woman. Mm -hmm. Teenager, maybe a bit older. Mm -hmm. I think I want to experiment what I have been learning. Mm -hmm. Are you dressed in any particular way? I think I have a uniform, mm -hmm. a dress, very simple uniform type of dress mm -hmm. with buttons at the front. Mm -hmm. I'm wearing sandals. So 783, what happens to you? I'm in a lift. Mm -hmm. Where is this lift taking you? Up. Are you by yourself? Up. Up. I am. Mm -hmm. Up. Up, up, up. Stop. Door slides. Mm -hmm. I'm in a room full of people. Looks like a spacecraft. Mm -hmm. Just 
it's a spacecraft. It feels like I have no idea why it's a spacecraft, but it mm -hmm. feels like a spacecraft. Mm -hmm. People are in uniforms, a little bit like Star Trek. Mm -hmm. Reds, reds with a triangle, triangle on mm. the chest. Mm -hmm. On the left side, they have a triangle. And what do these people look like? Silver triangle. Mm -hmm. Are they blonde? No. Mm -hmm. What do they look like? No, they look... I'd say they look very hairy. Very hairy? Mm. Mm hmm. In what way? They have hair all over them. Mm hmm. I can't even see how... I mean, okay, let's look. Can you see their faces, or is it all hair? Yes, hair okay. and mouth. Mm -hmm. Do they look like any type of animal? I would say <coughs> they look a little bit like chimpanzees or monkeys, I don't mm -hmm. know. Ma mammals? Like mammals, mm -hmm. mm. They have very huge canines. Mm -hmm. Large teeth? Large teeth, yes. Mm -hmm. But they they don't they do not talk either. It's all telepathic. Mm -hmm. So who are these beings? The world Andromeda came to mind. Mm -hmm. Andromeda? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe they come from Andromeda? I don't know. I have no idea. Mm-hmm. And what, what am I doing in a spacecraft? So let's find <gasps> out. Yeah, maybe I came to learn their ways. Mm -hmm. I came to learn their ways, maybe. Because they accept me just, I'm there, I just got there, I'm so, probably they knew I would come. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what you're doing to learn their ways. What's the reason why you're there? Oh, good question. Why am I there? I'm observing. For what purpose? Gather information mm -hmm. to, to the lab. Maybe I'm a spy. Mm -hmm. I have no idea. But I, it's, <coughs> yeah, I have no intention of harm them or mm -hmm. bring them or interfere with anything. I'm, I came, I was taken to this spacecraft. I'm observing. Mm -hmm. I don't really interact with them. I see them interact. I see them push buttons and, and look. Uh, we, are, we are in space, yes. It's all mm -hmm. dark around us. Mm -hmm. So let's see where it is that you go. I'd like for you to force fast forward that scene and let's see where it is that you end up. I think we end up on Earth. Mm. Or at least looks Earth. It's mm -hmm. it look it it's huge forests, mm. huge trees. I have never seen trees these big in my entire life, mm -hmm. very green, very green, very green, mm -hmm. there's lots of wildlife, birds, lots of birds, lots of colors, mm -hmm. lots of noise, the birds make so much noise, like parakeets, but huge. Mm -hmm. Are these birds at large? Yes. Mm -hmm. How large are they? Very. They are as big as I am, mm -hmm. and they are a little bit scary. Mm -hmm. So let's Although see. Although they are beautiful, they are very scary. So let, let, let's let's see what happens with these birds. Does anything happen? I don't think they like us. Mm -hmm. Is this their land? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very much so. So what do the birds do? I think they, 
there they want us out of there where maybe we landed on a nest i have no idea maybe we are just we landed on top of a huge but i'm talking this is huge nest mm -hmm. feels like a nest would this nest be as big as the spacecraft mm -hmm. perhaps mm -hmm. it's huge Yes, they definitely they don't want us. I, I see as we are just running, trying to find a way to get out of there. Mm -hmm. Down this tree. Yes, we are climbing down the tree. This very, um, very rustic, like cords and wood mm -hmm. sort of steps go all the way down. Climbing down, we are all together coming down. Mm -hmm. Down, down, down the trees. Are you still with these ape-like beings? Yes. Mm -hmm. They protect me. Mm -hmm. What happens next? Down the ground, I see these huge ferns, like the ones in New Zealand, just mm -hmm. humongous ferns. It looks like a huge... I mean, we are in a huge forest. I, I feel that I we it's earth. Mm -hmm. But a long time ago, mm -hmm. a long time ago. Mm -hmm. Do you think you transported into a different era? Yes, I'm back. Mm -hmm. I'm back on Earth. Mm -hmm. Did you do any time traveling? Maybe. I think yes, maybe. Or maybe. Maybe uh, what I feel is that I was created as an embryo in Andromeda, mm -hmm. transferred to this spaceship, mm -hmm. down to Earth, mm -hmm. like, I don't know when, when everything was huge on Earth. Mm -hmm. I don't, the atmosphere feels, it doesn't feel like, like the atmosphere today. Mm -hmm. very very small compared to the vegetation I, I, I'm presuming it's earth that's what it feels like mm -hmm. so what happens after you after you leave this nest so we are exp we are not really exploring it feels like we know where we are going or at least the people I'm with knows where we are going. Mm -hmm. You walk on a straight line. They have guns, sort mm -hmm. of guns, mm -hmm. looks like, mm -hmm. or defense, some defense. And we are walking, walking. We stop, we rest. I think we have special suits because I see myself drinking water from a tube that comes down that mm -hmm. comes down from from somewhere. Mm -hmm. A suit, I believe. I'm wearing a suit. You have some sort of spaceship suit? Yes, some mm -hmm. sort of rubbery mm -hmm. suit, I mean. We don't have cask uh, we can breathe. Mm -hmm. You don't need helmets. We don't need helmets. Mm -hmm. So let's find out where it is that you go. Close that scene and be at the place where you came to finally explore. Where are you? This place looks like Stone Age, I would say. Mm -hmm. uh, it feels that I'm in the presence of the same beings in the cave, inside the cave. Mm -hmm. They are showing us the way on Earth. Mm -hmm. What are they showing you? 
the ways of the sun. Mm -hmm. And the planets. It, it feels like they can project. It's almost a holographic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's, it's holographic? It's a holographic uh, teaching, sort of. They are showing us the... Uh, the plan I think they are telling us the story of this planet, how it came to be, perhaps. Mm -hmm. Is it an old planet or a new planet? It's a new planet. Mm -hmm. It's a new planet, but it's a, a relatively new planet. But there, there was a catastrophe here before. Mm -hmm. They are survivals. That's why they are telling us the stories. Mm. They are passing information of what it was. So when they survived, they went inside the Earth? Yes. Mm -hmm. And you have come to visit them and learn about this place? Yes, mm -hmm. that's what it seems, it sounds like. Mm -hmm. Anything else about that that's important? I don't feel there is. Very good. So let's close that scene. And let's go now to another important scene in that same lifetime. When something is impacting you. I've been accused of witchery. Mm. Tell me about that. Oh, gosh. They're Where not are you? happy. I have not. Oh, God. Who's accused you of witchery? Where are you? Feels like the Middle Ages. Mm hmm. Tell me more. People are afraid. People are afraid of of knowledge or knowledge that is not a different knowledge. Mm hmm Because it feels that I can concord things, I can make mm -hmm. I know about I have knowledge about plants and mm -hmm. and the stars and the cycles. So you have knowledge that other people don't? And that's correct. Mm -hmm. That's how it feels like. People don't really understand. They think it's magic. Mm -hmm. But it's 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 information passed down to me. Mm-hmm. What do you call yourself in that life? Celeste, mm -hmm. that sounds... Celeste, how old are you? I'm 30. Mm -hmm. 40, 30, maybe, between 30 and 40. Mm -hmm. So what's happened, Celeste, that they've accused you? I think they are jealous. May I feel that there, there was, there is famine around and disease and mm -hmm. people are acting like savages. Mm -hmm. Uh, there is, I feel that there we, we are under some sort of oppressive regime, mm -hmm. mm, probably religious. Mm -hmm. It does feel like the Inquisition. Mm -hmm. um, What's happened to you? I think they are going to burn me. <laughs> mm. uh, I still see myself as a very, um, very always spending. I, I'm, I, I'm not married. I mm -hmm. don't have kids. I think mm -hmm. I'm very uh, solitary in my ways. Mm -hmm. 
and they they dislike it. They find it strange that mm -hmm. I can, as a female, live by myself. And mm -hmm. I think that's what bothers them, bothers them, or maybe bothers a male of that. Ah, could it be? I think it's jealousy. It's jealousy around us. Mm -hmm. There is that sort of energy. What are they jealous of? That you can survive on your own? I think so. Mm -hmm. And I can help people. Mm -hmm. How do you help them? I cure them. I know medicine. Mm -hmm. What do you use for medicine? For skin disease, coughs, mm -hmm. diarrhea. I'm sort of a medicine woman, yes. you would say. Mm -hmm. So let's, let's, let's see what happens next. Close that scene and let's see the next important scene of that lifetime. What happens? I think there is a man who wants me, mm -hmm. who wants to marry me, who wants me to himself. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm not willing to. Mm -hmm. so, what am, so what happens? I'm not willing to. I think I am forced. Am I forced? I see myself being grabbed by the hand, by the arm. Mm -hmm. Take a look at this man's eyes very carefully. The eyes of the window to the soul. Do you recognize this man in the lifetime that you're living in now? Mm. I think I recognize one of my exes. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's see what happens now. I'm miserable. Do you marry him? I can't see a ceremony. I think I'm a prisoner. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely I'm I'm a, I'm, a, I'm I'm sort of a prisoner who resigned to her fate. Mm -hmm. It looks like. Yes. Because I'm in the house, I'm in this house. I don't, it doesn't look like I go out a lot, but mm -hmm. I'm in this house and it just, when his presence, when he's there, it just feels very dark. Mm -hmm. And are you able to practice your medicine there? No. Mm -hmm. No. I think he wants me to bear children. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I bear children. So let's find out. Let's fast forward that scene. And let's see what happens next in your lifetime that's important. Where do you see yourself now? I think I killed him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How did you kill him? Uh, the knife. Mm-hmm. I think it's a knife. I'm for Oh, my. What? It, what do you do? What did you do? Describe the scene for me. I have a knife in my hand, I have blood mm -hmm. in my arm and the male, I have a male, suppose it's him, yes, it's him in the corner, mm -hmm. like sitting in the corner mm -hmm. with a hand to his chest, mm -hmm. on his heart, mm -hmm. I probably killed him, mm -hmm. that's so what I feel. So let's see what happens to you now. Fast forward and see 
what your fate is after this. Maybe that's why they burned me. That's so unfair. I, like I think I got burned. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to see the scene as an observer. You don't need to be in the body. Just observe the scene and tell me what happens. What happens to your body? Burns mm -hmm. into ashes. It's a relief in a way. I feel mm -hmm. relieved. Mm -hmm. Very good. So I'd like for you to close that scene. Leave that scene of that woman behind. She'll find peace. And as you look back at that lifetime, what do you feel the purpose was of that lifetime? Forgiveness. Mm -hmm. Do you feel you learned forgiveness there? Yes. Mm -hmm. I don't think they knew any better. Mm -hmm. You forgave the people for doing what they did? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They were so scared and angry. Mm -hmm. And angry. Very good. What lessons did you learn from that lifetime? Maybe not to take things personally. Mm -hmm. You feel you did? Compassion, maybe. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's close that scene. Take a deep breath in. And allow me to speak with your higher self. Does the higher self have anything else for Tanya today? Or are we complete? Believe in yourself, girl. You can do whatever you put your mind to. Mm -hmm. Very good. Are we complete now? Yes. Very good. Welcome. Thank you, Alpha. You're welcome. How do you feel? Sore and light. <laughs> you feel like you're soaring? <laughs> <laughs> You've been there a long time. Um, How long do you feel this journey was? Oh. Uh, How do you feel? Well, I know it has been a long time, but it what do you feels think? half an hour. Half an hour? Oh. That's how it feels like to you? Yes. Try no. uh, two hours and 13 minutes right now. Stop it already. Mm -hmm. Imagine that, huh? Oh. That's a long time. So I'm going to switch those with these. So give me the selenite, and I will give you the shungite to ground you. So tell me what you experienced, oh. my dear. <laughs> you you were on quite a journey. Uh, I feel so light. Mm -hmm. So was this good for you? Tingling all over. Mm -hmm. How about now? What do you think about all this? Was it worth it? Yes. Yes, it was worth it. Now you understand why you had this session? Yes, it Unbelievable. was meant to be. Oh. You, were you able to see this so stuff clearly? Strange. Oh, I saw the girl at the top of the cliff so mm -hmm. clearly. Mm -hmm. I saw the insemination very clearly as well. Mm -hmm. The caves. This was inner earth, huh? It was probably... I saw as well the balls of fire. Mm-hmm. The sulfur, it is not good. That was the one of the... It wasn't good. Yeah. Interesting, huh? So is this something you want to share? Is there anything to share? I think me? the stories are great. <laughs> really? Maybe not. Your, your personal questions, I think, are personal. Yeah. But I think the stories are fantastic. I mean, okay. <laughs> they're amazing. <laughs> really? Yeah. I, I so can't, can't wait to listen to it. It's, 
These are stories. I mean, it feels like snippets of five minutes here, five mm-hmm. minutes here, five yeah. minutes here. That makes a half an hour <laughs> that yeah. I am aware. That you remember. You don't remember, I remember most of it. I remember a forest mm-hmm. and a cheap do, re- do you remember landing on a nest? Oh, <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> it was. It was like a huge scary. nest, and your yes, your spaceship landed on it. Mangus. Do you understand now why you don't like crows? I do. They were not. They were not happy with you landing no, on their nest. No, 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 no. Now you understand where that came from. Yes, it's very visceral, isn't it? The the feeling I had. I, mm. I'm really looking forward to see how I will deal with that from mm. now on. Mm-hmm. I will definitely have that present. Yeah. Not be so angry with them. Food. Probably remember. Probably they are angry with me. Yeah, they probably remember you and say, hey, this is the lady, guys. Oh, yeah, I'll just to have to calm them down now. Yeah. Calm down. Remember that it's time? It's so forgiven. Remember that time that spaceship landed on our nest? <laughs> That's the lady. My God, probably killed them. Mm-hmm. I can't remember, but yeah, they were really angry. Mm-hmm. Chasing us around, yeah. So uh, let me disconnect you and let's uh, say goodbye to everybody. So Thank that... you. So here we are. Come closer here, my oh, dear. Yeah. <laughs> so we just had an amazing session. Yes. It was over two hours long. So tell everybody feels, how, it, feels, how you feel. It doesn't feel like two hours at all. It feels mm-hmm. like half an hour. Yeah. And what do you remember? I remember snippets of it. Mm-hmm. I have very clear image of um, some parts. Uh-huh. Um, and releasing Mm. Releasing lots of. Well, energy. you're still shaking. I am. I am. You're like I'm, vibrating. Yes. And yeah. I'm hot. I, I, f- <laughs> I feel heat. Yeah. There's heat. Mm-hmm. We uh, went through a lot. I was cold. Now I'm very hot. And then something. Yeah. I feel mm-hmm. like. Yeah. I feel like detoxing. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what it feels like. Sometimes you feel like you're shaking. Yeah. And uh, you've gone through a lot. So this is almost like like a surgery that you yeah. went through. So you're going to... Especially in my throat. Mm. I still... It's unbelievable. Yeah. Like, yeah. You had you had an attachment there. It's all there. energy. Mm-hmm. Amazing. So right now we are in Brisbane, Australia, believe yes. it or not. And where are you from? Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, um, I'm originally where no word. Well, I've been living in Brisbane for a long time and mm-hmm. it was like it was a, a challenge. I, I, we had I had lots of obstacles to get to see Alba. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can't even imagine. Including me getting sick. Including very Alba sick. Sick mm-hmm. and cancelled and then Somehow a wonderful soul canceled theirs <laughs> and I, I took the place and yeah. I can be happier. Yeah, so if you're supposed to be here, you are here. Yes, uh, if I you're not supposed to be here, yeah. yes, things happen. And uh, I did, I, I have been in Australia for uh, a few weeks now and I did get very, very sick this time and had to do a lot of cancellations, but we are better. You may have heard me coughing throughout this thing. Uh, I'm almost 100%. Did you Thank hear me goodness. coughing at all? Is, is that background noise? It's a background noise. That's right. Some of you may have been upset hearing me cough, but she didn't hear really what's going yeah, on. Yeah, actually, yeah. No. I didn't, have, I didn't have my phone go off in the middle of this, too. Okay. Did you hear that? I think I heard a bling bling. Bling bling, but that was about it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I yeah. wasn't focusing on it. And you had an amazing journey. So everybody is different. Everybody experiences this differently. Some people see, some people feel, some people just know what's happening in their hypnosis session. There's no one way to have a past life regression or go through mm. hypnosis. Everybody experiences a little bit differently. So how would you lo- say that you prepared for this? Well, um, I have listened to countless <laughs> Albus videos. She's binged again. <laughs> so, She's been binging. Uh, <laughs> I, mean, I didn't, I really didn't have any expectations. I, I, my free will, I knew that I wanted to uh, be hypnotized. Mm-hmm. Um, I had never been hypnotized before. Did you think you could be hypnotized? Well, 
Actually, it was interesting because we did some exercises beforehand. Mm-hmm. And, and you it, saw it, it work. It was really interesting. And I, yes. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. Mm-hmm. You are in control. You know what's going on. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you're just focused on what's coming. And, and things just, just start coming. Really. Oh, they came. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to finish this session. I just wanted to go on and on and on forever. But it, it was so interesting. Yeah. I could have gone for hours with you because it was just so interesting. But anyway, hey, listen, if you want a session with me, just go to my website, albaweinman.com. You could find all the information there. I also travel, as you could see, all around the world. If you are interested, go to my out of town page. There is a link to sign you up to my newsletter. And I put out my newsletter about once a month telling you where I'm going to be visiting next. And that is when I open my calendar for those cities. So if you're near those cities, go ahead and book it really fast. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this session and I hope I get to see you sometime soon. Thank you for watching. Bye. Now I get that hug. Ooh. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome, you're welcome. Thank you.